remember in grade school, at least I, yeah, I yeah. Roy G. Biff, that's how I remembered the, the order of the colors right. of the rainbow. Right, okay? right. Okay, so let's start. So what's the R? The R is, so it's tomatoes, but it's R for Roy, right? right? right. Yeah, that's right. right? For, so how are tomatoes going to help fight cancer? Well, so tomatoes have um, a compound called lycopene. And lycopene is a very potent antioxidant, which has been shown to decrease both the risk of prostate cancer, but also uh, breast cancer. Cool. All right, so carrots, everybody eats that's carrots. That's the O, right? Yeah, Roy. The, the, the O in Roy. The, the O in Roy, That's yeah, exactly yeah. right. So carrots are high oh. in a compound called beta carotene, another very potent antioxidant. It's been associated with a lower risk of, of colon cancer, for example. Yeah. And Bugs Bunny's favorite food. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> and this is uh, a bell pepper. This is a... Uh, Yellow bell pepper, nice the crunch. Y and Roy. Yes. Right? So uh, bell peppers are probably one of the best sources of vitamin C. Again, another very potent antioxidant. Anti I would not think of a bell pepper as oh, vitamin it's, it's, C. It's, it is, in fact, one of the best sources of vitamin C you can consume. Okay. And kale, don't we always put, like, try to put kale in everything, right? Right, right, right. And that's the G. Yeah. The, the middle name. Mm -hmm. right? So um, kale is a, is a class of, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cruciferous vegetable. Okay. And cru there's a many kinds of cruciferous vegetables. We're, we've actually got a couple more, which we'll talk about in a second on mm -hmm. the table here today. But cruciferous vegetables have a compound salt called glucosinolate. I know, it's a long one. Yeah, right. And, and, Even and, for the and that's a whole family of, of, of compounds which are highly, highly cancer fighting. Um, it's, it's really amazing the power of these cruciferous vegetables in helping us um, um, control inflammation. And, and, the more and the better. Exactly, that's exactly right. Okay, so edamame. We've got a couple of G's here. Because oh, that's right. Know, that, so we have, yeah. yes, that's right. Roy G. Bibb. Yeah, so we're right, going right. to really hit the G, G hard. Right, right, yeah, yeah. right, right. G, 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 right? <laughs> so edamame is soybeans, right? Yes. Yummy. So soy um, actually lowers the risk of breast cancer. If you've had breast cancer, it lowers the risk of recurrence, and it lowers the risk of prostate cancer in men. I cannot wait to start talking about that in another episode because yep. breast cancer in soy is a very real thing. Right. I love it. I love it. It really helps ward it off right sure. or prevent it that's right yeah, that's yeah. right that's okay right. we're on our last g the green for and this is this is broccoli, broccoli. another cruciferous vegetable yes. and it's got a compound sulf sulfurophane uh -huh. which also it's it's kind of in that glucosinolate right. family which yeah. has been shown to help lower the risk of cancer but particularly broccoli though broccoli so badass yeah yeah all right so roy g biv bi this blue. is blue blueberries Blueberries are probably one of the most powerful anti-cancer drugs out there. And they've all, uh, dr I say drug, it is a drug, yeah, really. Yeah, right. It's also been shown to help prevent things like Alzheimer's disease, believe it or not. And again, it's the pigments in the skin that make it blue, which is where those cancer-fighting properties come from. All right, so now we have... Another cruciferous vegetable. Yes, and we this was indigo, right? Indi yeah. This is indigo-ish. Yeah, indigo-ish. <laughs> so red cabbage, and again, another cruciferous vegetable. So you're getting some more of the benefits of that. Oh, so delicious. And then red onion. Right. Oh, no, well... This is this violet. Is violet, sorry. Right. So red onion. Sorry, Roy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so again, uh, this is in a family called the allicin vegetables. A-L-L-I-C-I-N. Right, I remember reading exactly. that somewhere. And, and so you must have paid attention in culinary school. Yeah. So, um, um, again, very high in compounds like quercetin, for example, which mm -hmm. have been shown antibacterial, cool. anti-inflammatory. When, and what about these foods? These, these so don't have a lot of color. That was my next question for you because these, all these beautiful colors right. represent different antioxidants. Yeah, is that right? Okay. That's exactly right. All right, so these do not have very much color, like cauliflower. Right, but, but it's a cruciferous festival. Yes. So to give it a little more color. And then we also have um, some quinoa here, right. which is actually a seed and not a so grain. It's a pseudo grain. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Cooks up so, like a grain. So the reason, these last two, that one of the reasons they're important is, is fiber, right? Uh -huh. we, know, and we know that fiber, in particular, significantly lowers our risk for colon cancer. And so, you know, again, it's all about the fruits and the vegetables and the high fiber foods. And the black beans, interestingly enough, many people don't realize this, when, when you think about foods that are anti-inflammatory, Oftentimes, the first thing that comes to mind are things like blueberries, right? Right, yeah. The are, dark are, berries, they say. Exactly. The dark berries, it yeah. turns out that dark beans are some of the most highly anti-inflammatory foods you can eat. And the reason is it's the pigment in, in the skin, right? It's a that dark. makes it dark yeah. color. Exactly, exactly. So is it just more concentrated? It is, then? it is. And, and, and so um, 
you know, again, when we think about preventing muscle soreness after exercise, I mean, again, it's just very potent anti-inflammatory uh, um, 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 drug again, <laughs> but, but food. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so to top off our cancer fighting slash preventing salad is this dressing that I made, and it's been in the fridge for a couple of hours. Um, one of, and this is some stuff. Well, what does it have in it? What so have in it? it has some date paste for uh. sweetness. Um, and then also one of the big, and I think you being the doc can probably vouch for this, one of the big cancer fighters in here that I put in here is turmeric. Right, right. So a couple quick comments. You know, you mentioned you use, you use dates. Yeah. Uh, as I said earlier, sh foods that have a lot of sugar can really spike insulin levels. And the, the, greater, the greater chance of food spikes insulin, that, that, that has what's called a, gly, a higher, what's called a glycemic index. So the glycemic index is a measure of how likely a food's going to spike insulin. Date paste, all of these, all of, you know, even the, the, the fruit we have here yeah. has a very low glycemic index. So you're not going to see that big spike in insulin, that big spike in the growth factor, right? And um, turmeric, though, in and of itself is, is a very potent um, cancer-fighting um, 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 food, if you will. And it's felt that the, it's the active ingredient turmeric is called, is called curcumin, uh -huh. and curcumin is, is Again, been shown to help prevent cancer and help prevent heart disease and, and some other things. What's interesting about curcumin, if you, if you crack a little black pepper, that helps our bodies absorb the curcumin. And actually, you can see curcumin absorption increase by about 40% just by adding a little bit of black pepper to, to any kind of dish you're serving with, with turmeric. So that is crazy business, right? I right. mean, the science behind getting well is... Well, you know, it's just nature is an amazing thing, I know, right? I know. It, I know. it really is, and and um, yeah, it's just it's you know, I just think we have such a disconnect between the food that we eat and our health, and and you know, this is really so. It may not be easy, but it's really so simple. That right? is really something that we love to say because it's true. It is. It, it's a very simple, simple thing, thing to, do. to do, but not always not, easy. easy, right? And yeah. So hopefully, you know, you can take something away from here to make it a little easier for you. Um, to incorporate in your day-to-day -day living. Yeah, so let's deliciously fight cancer. <laughs> yeah, right. Can't wait. Mm, that was so good. Oh, yeah.